we are back. I was slightly distracted there because, uh, yes, it was only that uh, that little string of images making up the story in the card track for the card art is is very clever. I think that is delightful. Uh, right, let's just click done again, just in case. But it is time for the graveyard keeper. Time for the graveyard keeper. Time for the keeping of the graveyard. How many graveyards can we keep? Just one. I lost all the others. So I'm not a very good graveyard keeper, am I? How would you lose a bloody graveyard? I don't know. I turned around and run off. I don't think that's true, is it? No. No, it's not. I sold it for a hefty profit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just nonsense, isn't it, really? But there you go. Ooh, loading. That was a very low ding, in fairness, wasn't it? Ding. It's a low ding. It's always good when you see the joke sort of from inception all the way through to the actual punchline. I, I don't mind showing my working when it comes to saying stupid things do, 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 do. and play it's here so yeah we are 158.9 days 107 goodness in my graveyard and 22 goodness in my church which is not great. not great i feel not great but oh well we shall just continue pottering around Doing a bit here, doing a bit there Then maybe, once we've done multiple bits We can do something useful Never! I refuse point blank to do something useful It's just not in my nature Let's deliver the bread to the refugees. Oh, gee, Rick. I thought we could do some kind of refuge, but we couldn't. Hint me. <laughs> it was meant to be a joke there. There really wasn't, but never mind. I don't think we need any beds. I don't think we can do that at the moment because yeah free place we don't have a free place but we just need more bees i need bees for them i need bees for me i need so many goddamn bees you cannot believe how many bees i need i need so many bees I need an obscene amount of bees If you could fathom how many bees I need in my life So I think it's like 10 bees per hive thing And I've got like 4, 5 hive spaces and they've got 3 hive spaces And of all of those I've managed to do 1 hive space Hello Mr Zombie friend Carry on, carry on, keep on What's the line? I think it is carry on. No. Oh no, it's keep on keeping on. Uh, Death Stranding line. Well, I'm sure it probably is a line from somewhere else, perhaps first, but. I'm thinking of the Death Stranding line. I've got a slight urge to play that again at some point. I mean, I can. I, it's not like it's disappeared. It's just it's one of those ones where you got to find the time, but. I enjoyed Death Stranding. Who else enjoyed Death Stranding? Did anybody else enjoy Death Stranding? I mean, I'm assuming. Someone else in the world probably enjoyed Death Stranding, but I suppose arguably I'm asking specifically here and now. Did anybody here now in this vicinity uh, enjoy Death Stranding? Did anybody else play Death Stranding? Because uh, there is always that possibility. Right, put bees in pot, and then I've got a lot of honey, so I'll put honey in pot as well. I don't need honey on on hand at the moment. Right. So I think I was supposed to meet Jerry in the tavern cellar. We can do that 
We can actually get to the tavern from the underground here, if we wanted to. It's sometimes quicker, sometimes indifferent, truth be told. Uh, that, I think, the one up there is town. Oh no, the one above me, I think, is the warehouse. That one next to me is town. And if we go all the way along here, I think this is the pub. I'm willing to be proven wrong on that front, but... Yep, no, good, we've managed to make it in there. Come here, Jerry! About the machine. Now we should break the wall to get the machine free. You read my mind, man. Okay. I will attempt to smash the wall open. Uh, how do I run 800 negates and not have the ability to stop anything? Also, I have fucking Nibiru in the hand for the 50th time today. Uh, see, I've, I've sort of given up on the nibs. Um, I did enjoy the nibs. I do enjoy it when it sort of worked really well. But I haven't put nibs, because I don't think he's going to be that useful. Um, or rather, I, there's more pressing cards for the Exodia stuff I'm trying at the moment. Don't pay any attention, it's that Inventor Keeper. Do you know how to use this device? The old keeper didn't even didn't ever, the old keeper even didn't ever let me get close. There must be instructions. There, I see them. Oh, he loved writing instructions. It works. We only need to put an artifact into this hole and we'll witness a scene from the far past. Artifact? This is getting complicated. There must be an itemized list of artifacts in the instruction. By the way, the wrong order of artifacts could cause an apocalypse. And here, he included a complete list. The old keeper already handled most of the research. It says right here, the first is the statuette of the ancient god. And the machine says, let's look, the statuette's owner, Horadric. I'm totally confused. I'll put it more simply. Take the statuette from Horadric and bring it here. And take care of the corpse. Who's the keeper here? Me or you? Well, I suppose I might as well take care of the corpse, but we'll see what sort of state the corpse is in as to what I want to do with it. Uh, he's a one-off, so I can cross out and negate them using it. Not so... Uh, no, sorry, can pointlessly clog up my hand. Yes. That is always the issue. A lot of these cards, although it's... Amazing how I've never found anybody else to have that issue. Um, that's one of the other issues I'm having with these decks. Nobody else seems to ever get to that stage where it's like, I can't use any of these cards. Um, and I've, I've been getting more and more frustrated with annoying like little bits that completely scupper my deck. That really shouldn't... Like It's, it's one of those age-old ones where it's like, why are you even doing this? Oh my god, this man has two brains. Unexpected. But he's actually quite a good body, in fairness. Um, I, don't, I feel like I should perhaps just leave it alone. Yeah, one with six skulls is quite good. I'm just going to stick it straight in the graveyard. Stick it in the family in the graveyard. I hate to take him out, because if my field gets nibbed, I'm just dead. Yeah, no, I can... I, well, this is the fundamental issue I have with deck building. I should probably try and take that out. I can't take that out. It's it's too important to take out. But oh no, not a chest. Sorry, a grave site. I got confused. Uh, let's finish off this one at the end here. Um, try and make that look nice. Uh, I suppose we could mark the second one as well. Uh, as long as I fill it, it's not going to make any difference. In fact, technically marking it, yeah, marking it makes no difference at all. The only difference it makes is when you dig. Uh, oh, I see ya. Oh, I do see ya. I see you sneaking around. But yeah, if you leave a corpse un sort of whoops. Oh no! My shovel broke. Son of a whore. Son of a dick. Um yeah, my shovel broke. There's not a lot I can do about that. We just gotta go back and shorten my shovel. It's not exactly how you get a new shovel, but you know. That's how you get a new shovel in this. You just sharpen it up and you've got yourself a brand new shovel. Do -do -do, shovel it. Yeah. Shovel it like a pro. Shovel it like you've never shoveled before. Precisely how is how do you do that? Uh, oh, I'll tell you what we should do. Check in on my grapes. My grapes of wrath. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. My toilet's in the way. We don't want that toilet to stand in my path of victory. I'm gonna just 
gather my grapes in the rain. It's fine. It doesn't make too much difference. Not to me, personally, obviously. Um, to our little friend here, it makes a lot of difference, because he's now in the rain. But, you know. Oh no, I've run out of seeds! Oh, it's because I can't put them in my uh, inventory. Which is a shame. Uh, this jerk is going to summon exactly four, and once again, Nib is useless. Ah... Uh, they know your nibbles. They know your nibbly stratagems. Do, do, do. Uh, dang it. I am going to need to deposit something. Arrgh. I suppose if I deposit those seeds there, then I can possibly collect some more of these seeds, depending on what these seeds are. No? Okay, that's fine. What seeds are you? Silver seeds. So I can hopefully then deposit these extra seeds there. Excellent. And that allows me the space for the things, and it allows me to build seeds from the chest. Oh, it's very useful. Excellent. And the rain stopped. The rain is no longer falling mainly on the plain. The rain is now falling distinctly here. Well, platform was nice. <laughs> I see. See, I'm not even... There's, there's no hope for me doing sort of that plat style stuff, so... I've yielded to the inevitability of uh, failure. Um, I fear sometimes it is for the best. Now, if I pick up... Uh, ah, good, I picked up the sods first. Oh, I've picked up my sodding peats. Oh, peaty sods. Soddy peat. That's if you leave him out in the garden in the rain, you get a soddy peat. No, that's... Uh, well, sodden peat, I suppose. You would get a soggy peat. Uh, right. Grapes. To the basement. Do -do 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 -do. Unfortunately, I can't do that. It takes me a moment to walk to the basement. So slowly walk around the house and, and then down through the chamber. And There we go. Into the, in the basement. Do -do 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 -do. Now, you require the actual grape. Uh, pressings to so, Jesus, really? Um, yes, Jesus, really? Oh, god damn it, really? Oh, god damn it. You, you require a lot of bloody grapes. A lot of bloody grapes. Oh, well, we'll leave wine making for now then. Leave the wine making alone. Horadric. Now, which one was Horadric? I think, is he the, uh, is he the bloke who's, um, the man who owns the tavern. Yes, he is. Uh, so let's go talk to him. There we go. Let's go talk to him as Bruce Forsyth. you nice. Oi, lend me your statue at the ancient god, please. Ooh, who told you about that? Do you believe in talking skulls? I even leave in talking donkeys. The statuette was forcing me to be sad. I'll be glad to get rid of it. That's my wife Chain, where it is. She does the cleaning. Oof. Oof. The wife doesn't have to do the cleaning. In fairness, it didn't say that. I said that, so maybe I should be ashamed of myself. Probably. Uh, chain, 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 chain. I'll pull the chain. And then the toilet will flush. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge here. Got that statuette. Uh, your Roderick sent me to ask you where his statuette is. Um, why do I have to keep track of his stuff? Could you ask him then? No way, we haven't talked for a week. Let's talk outside. I want to tell you all about Horadric's problems. Listen, Horadric owns tons of money, but he doesn't spend it on me. He spends it all on booze and girls. Are you sure? He went to town with Cresford last week, and when he got bad, he smelled a woman's perfume on his clothes. Anyway, I need you to find some evidence, then you'll forget the statuette. God damn. Ask Horadric about his trip to town. Okay, I will. What were you doing in town, you dirty old man? Horadric, I heard about your last trip to town. You got any details? Nope. Oh, trade secret. Looks like my last hope is Cresfold. Okay, let's go talk to Cresfold then. In a hopeful fashion, we might be able to get 
some secrets from the blacksmith. What sort of secrets can you get from the blacksmith? I don't know. Maybe the secret to perfect Damascus. That would be good. Chris Hall, where'd you go with her Adric last week? Well, I want to get over. It's time for everyone's fat steak. Why are you always so, fun, so unfriendly? Uh, my life is hard and boring. Damn contract. I always thought Smithing was an interesting job. Sword, shears, shields. Now I'm forced to make cowbells and spoons for Adric's in. Hmm, how can I get him to tell me? I don't know. What's the little thing suggesting? Just talk to him again, that's fine. Your life is hard, I feel for you. Your life is hard and I feel hard. And remember, I'll always be hard. Look, a Radrick passed in a new life for her. Their wedding anniversary is coming up as a surprise for her. Okay. Tell Chain about her husband's secret. Well, it's going to ruin the surprise. I suppose arguably I don't care as long as I get my hands on the golden statuette. Uh, this is very, very much almost becoming a point and click adventure now. Um, not in the directest sense, but in the sense that I will do anything and everything to get my hands on a specific item. Um, I will ruin people's lives just for the sake of getting my hands on an item. You better talk to my husband. Creswell said, Radrick bought a new perfume for you. It's a secret. So I'm going to say it loudly in the middle of the bar. It's scoundrel. He doesn't like my usual perfume. I'd rather that he take an mistress. Take a statue I'm going to give him a piece of my fucking mind. I'm going to slap him around the fucking chops, you fucking bastard. Bastard. What is it? Put a fucking fizzy bad of all those shit. What is it? Oh, the fucking perfume. It's a fucking ass smell. Fine. It was all fucking to do. Anyway, let's uh, take the gold statuette to the correct place, ideally. And. Well. Oh, sorry. It's a statuette of an ancient god. It's not a golden statuette. Oh, where I got golden statuette. Did they ever mention it being a golden statuette? Did I make that up? I might have made it up. It's difficult to know for certain. Ooh, yeah. So, is anybody doing anything interesting now? We obviously did the assessment earlier, but things might change. Has anybody changed their doings? Or are your doings the same? It'd be brutal. You might as well normal summon Lajin, mystical genie of the lamp, and pass like the old days. It'd be more useful. <laughs> oh, God, I remember that. Oh, oh, I remember Lajin, the mystical genie. Excellent. Excellent card. And that statuette. Strange, it looks familiar. Ha! It's that man with the red eye. Hmm, what now? Put it right there under the screen with the button. Gently, gently, ready, okay, push the lever. A long time ago, the ancient god created the sky, the earth, wheat, whiskey, and three priestess sisters to serve him. And he liked it so much that he created priests and legionaries and many other people to serve him. The people were fools. They knew nothing and could make nothing. But the ancient god was generous, and he gave the people homes, food, water, clothes. And after death, their souls would float across the ancient bridge and onto the land of the dead. But like all great stories, love spoiled everything. There's also a lamp card to go with him. I do vaguely remember the lamp. Um, and a few other vaguely genie-looking things. <laughs> Almost like they were going to start an archetype and just dare uh, didn't. Yeah. No, I certainly I, I knew there was a sort of a light, a lamp in there somewhere on the line. And it did sort of go with Lugian. Uh But yeah, it does feel like they perhaps were perhaps going to start a genie thing. Are you playing hide-and-seek, my red-haired birdie? I think this is meant to be Heradric, by the way. I might be wrong. Uh, I am, but I grow tired of birds and rabbits and frogs. Oh, I get it. You want to be my kitty. Grrr. Kitty, hurry dear. You know what I mean. And yes, there you go. It is, it's, it's Heradric and Chain. As, we, as in the past. Well, yes... Just tell me which animal you prefer, and I will... 
Oh my god, I can't believe you never been in this. Do you not know I'm an ancient priestess? Or priestess of the ancient god, one of the two, either way. I'm an ancient priestess, you know. And he chooses a destiny for each of us. Of course. And he chose me to serve him. So it's all for nothing. We can never be together. Ah, oh, but if I dear Chain, I entirely disagree with. Shh, someone's here. He sent in the chamber parts. He's taking a person there. The last sub item we can. <laughs> I mean, they definitely went for the, the piss gag there, I think, didn't they? <laughs> no, Haradric. We can't. My sisters and I, we can see future, and I saw no future for us. Well, that just means you're not looking closely enough. We'll be together, I swear it. Hurry, wait! Even the ancient god won't stop me. The accents are all over the place at the moment. Having an accent shift issue currently. This guy is just named White. There's a joke there, but I'll pass. Probably wise. Look at that date. That was 210 years ago. How could we have seen her Adric and Shane there? Yeah, they must be a little older than they look. Maybe they use cosmetics and live a healthy lifestyle. By the way, you can watch scenes more than once. Let's go on. So, the next one is an ancient wine flask and Adam owns it. Uh, or the farmer's son. Or the miller. No, it's just static. You'll need to check all the people I mentioned. What should I do with the statuette? Keep it under my pillow? Why not? Or build a special case in your tavern and put it there. Lots of people go crazy for ancient junk. Some people might even pay to view it. Graveyard Keeper, Garden Keeper, Tavern Keeper, now Museum Keeper. Uh, at least I keep keeping on. I'm keeping everything, and I keep keeping, 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 keepies. <laughs> Guys, you do know... Oh no, you're looking over the balcony, I thought for a moment. Oh, I need more wood. Lots more wood. I need a substantial amount. Let's just double check how much wood. Uh, so, eight big chunks. 18 uh, little chunks and a bunch of nails, okay? We can probably deal with that, but no guarantees. Sweet home. Uh, what is that? Is that a, oh, that's an alchemy recipe, okay. Create a preservative, interesting, nice. Uh, quite useful. So, it was eight of these, wasn't it? But we need more parts, okay. Fine, we can do more parts. We'll do more nails first, for now. Oh, I've run out of energy, fuck. Fuck my life. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, another virtual world scooped on turn one, but it's a win. Well, sometimes that's what you have to hope for. You have to hope they just don't get... I suppose arguably that's probably someone who didn't get what they needed, which is exactly what I want from people. To not have every option under the sun, no matter what card they pull. Do, do, do. Carrying on with my nails. And now let's build some complex iron parts so I can make my wood. I want to make my wood come true. Can you see my wood from there? No, you can't. My wood is hidden surprisingly well indeed. It's under a desk and behind some cloth and another layer of cloth. And then, it's still <laughs> not going any further. Do, 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 do. Such a relaxing theme song. This is why you can get lulled into just sort of playing the game forevermore. Because the, the background music just sort of lulls you into a sort of, I will just play this game forever. Uh, I can't remember. Ah, oh, fuck it. That's probably about right. <sighs> I might build a couple of extra nails just in case as well. Otherwise I fear I might not get the nails on after. And then I'll be sad. Pudding! Pudding in my hand again! But I thought I washed my hands and got a spoon. But yet, no, I've got pudding in my hand again. Although in fairness, pudding in your hand is not the world's worst thing. Dependent on where the pudding comes from, I suppose. 
As long as you know it's pudding, then it's not too bad. Because if you're unaware, if you think, oh, I'm not sure if this is pudding or not pudding, then that's where you've got a problem. But if you know it's pudding in your hand, ooh, tasty pudding. Tasty, tasty pudding. The player for the one take gay combo, but this is still pud. Oh, am I going to run out of energy again? Yes, very much so. Let's build more nails. No! You bastard. It's about to be church day. And we need to go to church. Church is the only option for us. Church is the only thing to do on a Sunday. On a Sunday. I'm going to put a church on a Sunday. I'm going to go to the church with my Sunday. And then I'm going to use one of their little wafers on top of my Sunday. And then they're going to throw me out because they don't like that sort of thing. Uh... Where am I going? I don't know. Ah, my pub. Yes, the Talking Skull. I want to go to my pub. Go to my pub. Pub, pub, be pub. Excellent. My lovely doings there. Can we actually build another tavern? No. Um, not tavern. Uh, another table. We can't. It's a key thing. And now what we want to do is pop the statuette into our area. And now we can look at our statuette in here and it increases the pub's reputation and uh, prettiness values and all that jazz so it's all good it's always good putting the little statues and stuff in there i don't think there's a benefit of not doing so um, but if there is i don't know it so I'm, I'm unlikely to actually not put them in anyway let's pop to i don't necessarily want many more but i'll tell you what i could do with doing and since it's not quite light yet for the church service, I will just quickly do a couple now. But let's build a couple of these uh, gravestones. So, ideally, yeah, I mean, stone crosses is not a bad thing. But do I really want to be using... Yeah, what's it? Yeah, go on. Fuck it. It'll get me some blues, and I'm sure I can get build some more cut stone at some point. Blues are always useful. Um... Uh, and it was adding four to it, so it's not too bad. Uh, I think for now we'll just do a couple of basic fences so that we've at least got them a fence on their thing. That's lucky. I genuinely wasn't expecting to be able to fit all of those in my inventory. Was very useful. But yeah, we'll try and fill in the gaps we've got up there. Although we've got way more than two gaps after all, but never mind. Never mind. These are quite good graves, so getting those up with a pair of fanciful things is going to be quite useful, because as you can see, I have managed to net myself some f uh, five of the grave qualities. Obviously, if you can get rid of all red skulls, it's much better, or if you can apply extra white skulls, it's slightly better. But, you know, what I've got there is, is sufficient, truth be told. It is sufficient. Let us run ourselves a church service so that we can get ourselves some cash and faith. It's going to be useful, as cash and faith always are. Do you have faith in the power of cash? If so, you're probably living a good life. Nice, nice, nice. Let us pray for this blessing. Come on, good blessing. No whammies. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, oh, excellent. Great sermon. Thank you. Great sermon, great sermon. E. It's a bit creepy, this church, isn't it? Because of the whole insistence on hooded robes. Uh, you don't really want a, a bunch of people in hooded robes in a church, do you? Doesn't really give out the right sort of message, I wouldn't have said. Alright, so... I don't... A, I don't have any zombie juice anymore, I don't think. And B, I don't really want any more zombies. So I think it might be a case of just do some studying. Uh, yeah, just sort of finish off... Finish off odd bits and pieces that feel like they're going to be useful. Um, which, unfortunately, is, is two items, and that is it now. 
But I've got a load of reds, so is that something? But yeah, not enough. Not enough faith there. Not enough. Ah, one for wheat. That'll do nicely. Excellent. And then I, it'd only be if I can find any sort of exclusively science based things, but exclusively science based things are few and far between. Oh, that's uh, decomposing. We don't want to, don't necessarily want to do that. Oh, we can study goo. Goo of acceleration. Composes into, yeah, other bits and pieces. Yeah, I sort of already know that. Mind your own beeswax. No, I will not. No, we don't want to decompose that. Uh, Altergeist win! Congratulations! C -c Celebrations! Uh, all of the faith. All of the time. Hey, we can study that. Nice. You don't get much for studying goo. Because basically I think the idea is you poke it and you go, it's goo. And then you go, no, it really is goo. An actual proper, I did something and it was better than their something, win. The most satisfying. Unfortunately, also the rarest. <laughs> Which is not great news. But yeah, it, it's so much better. It's so much better if it feels like you've actually done something and, you know, it's it's better when it's like you do something. Oh, hey, I think I might be able to counter your something. I've countered your something. Oh, you've countered my something. Mm, I think I can counter your something that countered my something. It's so much better when it's like that. It is horrendous when it is not like that. When it is just you know, <laughs> oh, you've done all of the things and completely negated everything on the field. Excellent. Never mind. I don't think I'll bother anymore. Weird patch I hit in gold free did terrible with a string of bricks and high tier opponent decks. You never know. On to platinum one. <laughs> go, go, go. We'd have to start doing. Uh... It's meant to be an approximation of the original theme song, but it's been a while since I've listened to it, so it was shit. But there you go. Never mind. Eight gems? I suppose not to be sniffed at, but not the best amount either. Always study the goo. I will always study the goo. The goo is the most important thing to study. Uh, now pop the goo away in the baskets. Uh, is there space there for one more goo? Yes, there is. Let's try and grab this goo, and we'll probably put this goo on the shelf. What's quite interesting is once you put something on... Oh, no, I tell a lie. Okay, maybe once you put multiple things on the shelf. Nope, okay, that shelf is just empty. Uh, maybe you do have to fill a, fill a shelf in order to get it to look different, but you, theoretically... No, no, maybe the shelf is just not... Maybe the shelf just doesn't do what I thought it did. Never mind. <laughs> we'll ignore that then, shall we? Trade, uh, death certificates, excellent. Finish the offer, excellent again. Marvellous, right. Now, we do have some more. Take the ancient wine flask from Adam, the farmer's son, or the miller. Okay, so... I don't actually know who Adam is. Captain Wagner. That's uh, Miss Charm, yes, of course. But he remains a good pile of goo. Kind of a shame, Frog the Jam. <laughs> Interesting. So he couldn't be used in Frog Dex. Oh, to Slime Toad. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. That was always uh, slightly interesting. I think there was like cyber. There was a cyber bird, or something, and they specifically say on the card, "Not a cyber monster." Um, and that was always interesting, the way they had to do that to alleviate the fact that obviously now cyber, cyber do, cyber do do, cyber do do's, um, is actually a whole thing. But he remains a good pile of goo. <laughs> I see. In fairness, I, some of the best things are piles of goo, because Marshmallow, I suppose technically he's a Marshmallow, isn't he? But uh, nonetheless, he is a suitably good pile of goo. Uh, or at least gooey, I suppose. Gooey! Uh, it gets all terrible, without any work to do. Cut a wine flask. A wine flask? Of course not, alcohol is disgusting. Except, of course, my special wheat whiskey! Why do you drink this whiskey from? 
Straight from the barrel in my cellar. Impressive. I have no more questions. What do you have to trade? Only wheat. I suppose that makes a degree of sense. <laughs> Not entirely sure why. He's a vanilla monster with terrible stats. Couldn't have been that strong in a frog deck. That's fair. I think, are you the farmer's son? Yes, you are. Oh, I need to finish my chores or father will be terrifying and angry. I well, you know it's a foolish thought, boy, but do you by any chance drink wine? Oh, how could you know that? Okay, maybe it wasn't so foolish. Could you lend me your flask? Oh, I'll give you this flask, but only if you promise not to tell my father. It's a deal. I weren't planning on telling your father in the first place. Although I could do, I suppose. No, I don't really need to. I want to just take it to the old farm. The old talking skull. Excellent. I assume this is the correct the flask. I think there is a, there is one where you can fuck it up, but let's hope not. Oh, there's still some wine in it. Hmm, it's semi-sweet. Fucking mothy bastard! Get away. Tasty, but there's not enough. Now we just shove it in there. Oh, here we go. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. What a lovely day it is today. How long have you been here? This is day two. Next. Great Priestess Clotho, I bear a humble request for the ancient god. I... Be quick, man, there's a line. Our God teaches that through prayer you can achieve everything you could want. So we did nothing for three months straight and just prayed and... Alright, oh ancient God, I beg you, why must they be so chatty? Anyway, we've quite run out of food. You are a decent man, my friend. The ancient God blesses his She fainted. Away, chain. Help me, Clotho. Clotho! I'm okay, Bella. The ancient God has sent me a vision. Sisters, something terrible is coming. Excuse me, but what about me? Go home and you'll get some bread, salt, and black caviar next. Get out of here. Hey, you're skipping the queue. Excuse me, I just need to ask one teeny tiny question. The ancient god forbids cutting in line. Don't you cut in line. Can't hear Clotho without thinking about Burai. Interesting. But what is Burai? Clotho. But Clotho is a crazy witch from the swamps. The past 200 years have been rough on the old sword. Hmm. But where are you in all this? Well, we're only getting started. Time to press onwards. The next thing is Ancient Door Hinge. Hmm. It's in the ground somewhere between the village and Dig's home. So go find it and dig it out. You can search for more than one artifact at the time. Why not? The legionary helm is located in the farmer's house. Well, that might be difficult. But remember, using the artifacts in the correct order is critically important. I don't remember if it truly is or not, but... <laughs> it's one of those ones where you don't necessarily want to test whether it does or it doesn't. Because uh, you don't want it to fuck you over. It's not great when it screws you right over. Right, anyway, so we've got more digging patches, I think, basically. Uh, which is the easiest thing to do. And is the first thing, in fairness. Uh, ancient door hinge! Well, that was fucking easy, wasn't it? Let's go watch another scene with our ancient door hinge. Um, some of these are really easy. Some of them are quite difficult. The first few, obviously, have been very, very easy. Uh, getting into the farmer's house, I think, is awkward because you have to become friends with him, and I can't remember how you become friends with him. Sorry, the hinge is damp and dirty. Ha! Living skulls aren't afraid of a little dirt. Oh, pow, 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 pow. It's our donkey friend. Rest in peace, our deceased friend. Your road now leads over the ancient bridge and into the land of the dead. Let's go divide up the inheritance. Ooh! <laughs> Magical! It's so annoying when they die on the weekend. 
Coffee, oh, what a surprise. Tea, coffee, a little made with pepper. No, no, once was enough, Digus. Our God has sent me a vision. I saw fire, bloodstained blades and corpses, oh, and the ancient portals. A vision? Oh, 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 I warned you, your experiments with mushrooms could be. I need the keys to the portal, funny man, right now. Sorry, the ancient God forgives me from giving them to anyone. Perhaps a sweet cupcake would suffice. I had a vision, Digus. He wants us to use the portal. Don't shout, Clotho. Not healthy for people who are a thousand years old. Listen, aren't you afraid for Heradric, your adopted son? I'm afraid that's why I can't give you the keys. The portal is unpredictable and dangerous. You have a cupcake instead of a brain, you old fool. That's our madman who's obsessed with cake, by the way. Oh, I remember that place. That's where the Keeper dug me up. He was looking for spare bones for his zombies. I woke up and couldn't remember anything, but I wanted beer. That Keeper named me Jerry. Excellent. We can pop our little door hinge into our display cabinet. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing to display, but it nonetheless can go on display. Ancient door hinge. Excellent. It looks like a robot's tongue. It could be worse could look like a robot something else but we won't go into that uh, but th this is this is Diggus down here this is the man called Diggus the man with the epic beard ding 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 bing bong dig I am dig you are dig me I am diggy diggy bong who's diggy diggy bong diggy diggy bong diggy who's diggy diggy bong diggy diggy bong diggy I don't know but it's very awkward when he introduces himself because he ends up having to go, I'm Diggy Diggy Bong Diggy Diggy Bong Diggy. I'm Diggy Diggy Bong Diggy Diggy Bong Diggy. It just takes forever. Really, he should probably call himself something else, but yeah, some people, they really are attached to their names. And so he has to go around introducing himself as, Hi, I'm Diggy Bong Diggy 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 Bong Diggy 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 Bong Diggy Diggy Bong Bong. Hugely frustrating. Hey, your son's a wino, by the way. Uh, about entering this may sound strange, but could I look at something inside your home? Hey, sorry, my home, are you crazy? I bet you're just trying to steal something. Oh, no, I just want talk farming, please. I am a talk farming professional. Just grow a carrot the size of a log, then I'll let you in. The size of a log? Yikes, I'll need some magical help. Okay, so I think it's Clotho again, yes. Bring a carrot to witch and ask her to enlarge it. I can probably do that. So let's uh, pop straight to Sweet Home. Oh, I also got another alchemy recipe. Red paint! Don't think that'd be that useful, but I sounded like I was excited, didn't I? Um, I, I don't know what. We'll get some more bodies in the morgue. Bodies in the morgue. Bodies in the boom boom morgue. So we'll take 11 carrots, 10 for the box, and 1 for the witch. Excellent. Assuming I can actually do the witch thing, because there's every possibility I can't, owing to the fact that I don't have a huge relationship with the witch at the moment. I need to deal with the whole memory issues thing, I think. Or did we deal with that side of things? Either way, I definitely need to deal with a lot to do with Clotho. Which is unfortunate. It's not convenient. Having to deal with all these people... There we go, that's the one. Yeah, you want a Silver Star Pumpkin, it would seem. Yeah, just a general Silver Star. And then a pumpkin to enchant a pumpkin. About enlarging a carrot. Dear Cloffle, could you enlarge something? Oh, oh. Huh, every week, sure, I can increase your thing. No, no, you misunderstand. I need you to enlarge my carrot. That's a funny way to put it. No, I need you to make an actual carrot the size of a log. Oh, that's even easier, but in return, I want a date. A date? Um, listen, I'm full of flaws. Moreover, not you, my sweet, though. You are pretty cute. I mean that lovely engineer, Cory. I'll try to organise your date. Um, okay. I suppose we can do that. Uh, that's another alchemy recipe. I don't know. I, mean, I think it's a random alchemy recipe, but I might be mistaken. Uh, so, slowing solutions, chaos solutions. Cool. Life extract. So yeah, you can basically buy all manner of stuff from her. Uh, alchemy related stuff, specifically. Uh, frogs. Frog. Frog. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's a rage potion. I don't need a rage potion specifically. Balsamic solution. Interesting. Okay. Alkali. 
Yes, I wonder. I'm going to purchase a couple of bits of alcohol. About five bits of alcohol that'll do. Take that back to my alchemy den. Sweet home. Down into the alchemy den. Because I think I've still got some sulphur. I'm just wondering if I can put the sulphur and the alcohol together. There's every possibility I can't, but uh, you know, it's got to be worth. Got to be worth a shot in some fashion, surely. Because we do actually have some interesting new recipes, don't we? Uh, although intriguing, the preservative must be built elsewhere, perhaps. Uh, do we have that sulphur after all? We do, just not. Available without something else. Nope. Okay, we can't put alcohol and solvent together. It feels like you probably won't put alcohol and blood together to make anything useful, but I suppose for now we might as well. No, nope, that's just another goo. Ah oh dear. So many goos. So many goos for you. How many goos can you possibly do? I don't know. Ooh, Corrie, Corrie, so we want to go to uh, Dead Horse, it's probably the closest area. Oh shit, it's night time, probably not going to make it before he goes in for the night. Uh, although I'm not entirely sure where he is. That's a woman. Uh, have I gone the wrong way? Oh no, there he is. I think this is Corrie. Excellent. I want you to date Clotho. Corrie, you want to go on a date with an amazing beauty? I'd love to! Don't judge me by my age, I'm still strong and hot! There's a cat, she uh, she was a beauty. Very long time ago, it's Clotho. Well, sorry, but crazy old ladies are a bit beyond my taste. Well, that's too bad, but you can't blame him. Maybe his brother... Maybe his brother Tresp would know how to make Kari agree. I mean, if you just shut the fuck up and not... Not told him it was Clotho, he probably would have agreed, I think. I can't quite remember where the brother is. Oh, this is a dodgy geezer, I think, down here. Yeah, well, technically he's just called Shepherd at the moment, so we don't know he's a dodgy geezer, but I'm fairly certain he's a dodgy geezer. Help with Kari. Someone on the Discord thing, he posted a deck list they just went against. Three times skill drain and two Eldlick. How do you screw up that? I don't know. Arguably, you probably can't. Tress, how can I get Kari to do something he doesn't want? You know what Kari taught me? That good ghost advice, good money. Oh, I mean, all right, I've got the money. Kari's crazy about lucrative deals. You can use that to your advantage. Pfft, what a singular trait. Okay. Offer Kari a lucrative deal. What sort of deal does Kari want? Probably more money. Fuck's sake. Money will solve all of my problems. Bastard, it's gone indoors for the day, hasn't he? Dickhead. You dickhead, how do you dare do this indeed? Droplets make no sense. Three extra and two prosperity seems overkill, etc. Two, but Eldlick is your main card, you win con. That's like playing Exodia decks with only four pieces. Oh, right, I see. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I get you, sorry, right. You want to have, yeah, I understand now. Uh, do, 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 do. But that Eldlick is practically permanent, so do you need all three? But uh, arguably, it makes more sense to have the three pieces. Because then you've got back hops if it does end up being banished or something. I'm assuming that's the problem where I'm stumbling into people who are perhaps trying to counter that with banishment or some such. Counter a lot of things with banishment, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'm st I'm ending up going against a lot of decks that deal in banishment rather than anything else, um, and it's very annoying because, uh, of course, banishment ruins my Exodia deck. So I'm getting sort of a knock-on effect from other bullshit decks, um, um, making my deck more difficult. But there you go. Well, I guess I'll just hold on to this carrot for now. Don't necessarily want or need this carrot, but you know. And yeah, Barai was from an old Sentai series. Ah, he was technically dead, so he got visited by Clotho, etc. Right. We understand. Well, I mean, Clotho is sort of dead here, but also eternally living? We don't really know yet. But she was clearly around for thousands of years in the distant past, and now we're reviewing the distant past. Hello. The distant past. You got a moment, friend. I must thank you. 
It's thanks to you that I can be proud of my son. I've waited for such a long time until the day he started drinking in secret. Are you serious? Yes, the twerp finally found the gumption to disobey me. My boy is growing up. It's a good thing you never told me anything about that flask. <laughs> okay. Thank you for creepily standing outside my house to thank me for not telling you about your child's delinquency. It's fine. I don't mind not telling people about their child's delinquency. Uh, and gives up the elixir of the gods to save some kid injured in battle with the baddies, but stops having nightmares of this impending death and rides off into the uh, rides off on the rickshaw pulled by death. That's a sentence I never expected to hear. The rickshaw pulled by death. Um, Corey, what do you think about a lucrative deal? I don't think about them, I make them. You have an idea? Yeah, monopoly on the sales of high-class magic potions at first. Fantastic, say no more, name this allure. Clotho, witch from swamps. I urgently need to have a meeting with her. Go and arrange it. Excellent. Let's go tell Clotho the good news that I've managed to manipulate a man into dating her. I suppose you take what you can get. You take what you can get. There is uh, apparently a spare body in the morgue. Yes, there is. Uh, relatively shit body, but... Is that because I've not serviced it yet? Oh, I see. It's got a sin shard in it. Okay, let's take the sin shard out, I suppose. And then blood and fat. Always a good starting point. And now I fear it is exclusively your choice only. So, brain, heart, or intestines. It's an important decision. Brains, hearts, or intestines. Uh, it's a pretty big plot twist when the evil Sentai makes up with his brother and becomes good only to find out he's going to die. Oh no! Do, do, do. So I'll give you a moment while I have a sip of drinky, uh, and then if you've not made a decision, I will pull something myself. But that's nothing to do with the game. <laughs> or re-die. Dunno, he wasn't frozen in the same place as the others, so they survived normally while his body got crushed. Good lord. Well, I'm on the intestines, so we're going to pull the intestines out. Through what? I do not know. Darn. I made a surgeon's mistake. It's still not actually that bad a body, but we might as well pull the meat and... <laughs> We'll pull the mate and go. But he was simply brought back because the gods knew they would need his powers, aka the Dragon Sword. I see. Do 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 do. Uh, right, we should be able to deal with that. And what have we got on my person? Yeah, sin shards go in the sin shard area. Shouldn't have any sin shards outside of the sin shard area. Even the gods can only bring him back for a short while. Ooh. It does sound quite interesting. Uh, put a sin shard in that chest. It doesn't matter which chest it is, let's be honest. It's fine. Now let's grab whatever's here and try and get it in the chests around the side before figuring out my next move, which might be put it away, put it away, put it away now, considering it is the appropriate putting it away time. Blood, intestines, let's go over here and see about the intestines. Well, the fat, actually. We're putting the fat in the underground. I put my fat in the underground. Because I don't really want it found. Hey, you. I don't want anybody to find my fat. Uh, do, do, do. My boba fat. Uh, do, do, do. It's because I've drunk too many of those boba teas. I've ended up putting on a load of boba fat. Ba, 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 ba. I didn't say it was a good joke. I didn't say it was a joke. Ooh, what sort of... Oh, that's a shit body, isn't it? Well, ditch that fucking quick. Grab its mate. I don't think we need anything else. How many shams are aimed at little kids permanently kill off the most popular character? Not many, in fairness. Not many. That is quite... I mean, that is reasonably heavy topics for a children's program. But then Japan does have a sort of... I don't know. It's, it's got differing sensibilities as to what is and isn't okay. Some of them are weird. And some of them are 
unused. Well, some of it's all weird to me because it's a different culture, I suppose. I'm just gonna wait for this body to burn. Just warm myself. There we go. Excellent. Uh, what do I want to do with the rest of this? Uh, uh, meat in the kitchen. Come on, come on. I want a meat in the kitchen. Come on, you. Come on, get in the kitchen. I want to meet you in my kitchen. Uh, is that empty? Well, it's not empty, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Know what I mean. Uh, Ernie. And he drove the fastest milk truck in the West. Yeah, meat boy, yes. I am the meat boy. And I come from out of town. What do you play? I play the guitar. Which is um, a, a, a guitar completely smothered in butter. It's weird. A very specific butter, I believe. Not just not just general butter. It's a very specific butter that the ghee tar is smothered in. Because I'm fairly certain ghee is a type of butter, if you were wondering why the joke was a joke. Uh, <laughs> I want to say Indian butter, but I'm not convinced I'm right in that. Which arguably suggests I shouldn't have said it, but I don't know. Every now and again, my brain kicks into gear and actually remembers something correctly. I'm just not 100% sold on this is one of those occasions. But yeah, as I say, there's definitely a butter called ghee. That's that's better minimum. That's fact. That one. Do do do. Uh, oh, the nightmares of being him. The nightmares of him being scared of the deathly figure pulling the rickshaw to the shadow realm or whatever. But one night he notices a little kid, and when asked who it is, oh, oh, good, she's here. Uh, and when asked who it is, Death says it's his next passenger. Oh my! Corey was delighted by my invitation, wasn't he? He was very excited. He wants to know the place and time. Oh, wonderful. Where's your carrot? I'll make it the size of a windmill. Thanks, but size of a log is enough. Give the carrot. Excellent. And uh, now, yes, I need... I still haven't found pumpkin seeds. So maybe it's next level of farmer. If I can get the farmer on the next level, I might be able to get him selling me pumpkin seeds. But I'm not sure. They may just be exclusively in the dungeons. Which I really do need to knuckle down. I keep getting distracted by sort of overworld quests when I could pop and see the man, uh, pop and see a man about a dungeon. It's uh, not what I meant at all, but that's fine. Uh, what's going to be the quickest and easiest way of doing this? I think it's going to be pop to bed for a moment. Have a little sleep. Have a tiny little sleep until the day breaks and then take my massive carrots to the farming man when he sees that the injured kid is the one from his nightmares he gives him the MacGuffin and accepts his fate <laughs> definitely not something I was expecting nice sounds quite fun did you uh, I... now I may have lost the track did you actually specify the name of this was the name Burai or am I getting confused? Because I feel like the name of the, one of the characters was Burai? Or was the name of the show Burai? Or both, of course. But I might have a look. I might try and look it up. Because it does sound quite fascinating. Uh, Burai is the guy. Okay, so what's the name of the actual uh, program? I mean, I imagine Burai and Clotho would probably get me close enough if I really... If I googled enough. But uh, the specific name of the uh, show would be the easiest one. We well, give you Carrot! Hey, have you ever seen such a carrot? You call that a carrot? Huh, I used to raise mine much bigger when I was younger. Alright, come in. Uh, oh yeah, you can actually just straight up buy pumpkins. I'm assuming those ones next to it are pumpkin seeds. So I just need to get up to tier 2. But for now, I suppose we'll just enter his building and see about taking his stuff. He does a bit of a dress. Which is unusual. Oh, pumpkins. Excellent. Uh, you know... Well, we'll take the legionary helm, because we need that. I'm going to take his onion seeds. I'm going to take his carrot seeds. Uh, I'm going to take his lentils. Uh, I don't really need his soup, but I'm definitely taking his pumpkins. So, you know when he said don't steal all my stuff? 
Yeah, I stole. I didn't. Technically, I didn't steal all of his stuff. I just stole most of his stuff, and then shouted about stealing most of his stuff as I walked out the building. <laughs> Excellent. Zeris was part of the Sendai series. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Um, I would highly recommend it if you like Power Rangers. I do quite like Power Rangers. Um, I only read the first series. After that, it got a little bit silly. Uh, but then again, arguably, after that, I grew up as well, which perhaps made it seem sillier. It's always kind of difficult to tell uh, with that sort of thing. Uh, right, pop the lentils in, pop the onions in, pop the carrots in. And then, yeah, let's not worry too much about those pumpkins. Certainly not in there. But I think we do want a sort of another, another row of... Empty garden beds, I believe. Because what we all want to do is pop the lentils in there, I think. Dig it out, dig it out. Lovely stuff indeed. Do, 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 do. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Uh, what's up until season four ish? The one where they had all the cars that combined. Yeah, I think I, think I only really saw up to sort of. I think, I suppose, I don't know, it's difficult to know for certain what it's classified as. So, I believe I watched, like, the original series, although this is all this is all the American-style stuff. I, I will just clarify uh, distinctly. Um, so, watched up to the sort of first... Well, I do have one pumpkin seed, but one pumpkin seed is not enough. Um, do we actually have, like, a patch of onions? No, we don't. I want lentil seeds. Now, is that just because I don't have enough lentil seeds? Oh, they are actual lentils! Sorry, not lentil seeds. You burk. Oh, well. We'll chuck a load of onions in anyway. That'll do nicely. But yeah, I don't actually have enough lentil seeds to plant lentil seeds. Which is fine, I suppose. Am I... No, I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing now. Apart from doing it all wrong, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> Lentils, right, take the lentils out, that's fine. And now, excellent, we've got a load of stuff here. We'll grab that peat. Ideally, this peat needs to go up to the vineyard, I think. Uh, Lord Zed in two, then the two of them getting married in season three. Oh, okay, if we're defining that as the seasons, then yes. I definitely... I don't know if I've done the ninja powers... Oh, sorry, with Ivanus and the Search. Yes, so... Wait, are they... Oh, no, they are separate movies. Yeah, you're... Uh, yeah, so I, I believe I've seen the Ivanus one. And so I was a little bit past that, and then not much further, I don't think. Uh, anyway, let's deal with the with the great patch, then, over here. Might as well. Do, 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 do. We might actually be able to start getting ourselves some wine, which is what we kind of want in our life. But unfortunately, I'm running very low on inventory space, which means there's going to be a lot more shuffling around of bits and pieces before we get anywhere, which is always slightly awkward. Uh, yes, in fact, we're going to have to do some major shuffling, can't we? All of the grapes. No, okay, we've run out of... One of grapes to use. Excellent. More seeds there, more seeds there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What sort of seeds are you? I don't know, but I've run out of space for you, so that's awkward. Uh, so I suppose pop those grapes in there, grab those seeds there, excellent. Pop those in there, pop those in there. So we've got, we do have another space for a patch of gold. Do I have enough for the vine trellis? Excellent, I do. So we'll pop a vine trellis there. Build that, and that should allow me to utilise the final final grape seeds that I have in my possession to get even more grapes. All of the grapes, all of the time. Uh, the pyramid, the ro blue robot guy, the blackbird monsters attacking them. 
The spirit animals that combine eagle, cream, frog, bear, wolf, and one more. I couldn't help you there, although the spirit animals do ring a vague bell, so I wonder if I did see at least some of that. Right, anyway, grapes to the underground, please. What did I do with my pumpkins? Ah, shite. Don't know where I deposited my pumpkins. Did I leave my pumpkins? I left my pumpkins there. It's not where I wanted to leave pumpkins. It's not where I wanted to leave pumpkins at all. Ah, I tell you what. We'll deposit the sticks in here and take the lentils with me. As the sticks will do a semi-decent job of hanging around there because I need sticks to build the trellises. But I do also generally need sticks on my person as well, which we can mitigate that in the not too distant future, I suspect. Right, we want to pop. I think if we keep two. If we if we if we keep two and put the rest in there, that's fine. Uh, run out of chests indoors, yeah. Uh, excellent. Now down at the basement, let's deal with grips. With the loss of the ninja power coins, the ninja zords are no longer able to be summoned at all and remain with the ninjors temple of power. With no access to the ninja and shogun swords, Billy and Alpha Five construct new swords for the Zeo Rangers, the Zeo Zords. Okay, that I don't think I remember. So I think that might be where I tuned out. Don't know for certain still, but I think... I think that's about where I zoned out of it. Okay, so a pile of grape juice. Excellent. We can now possibly make slightly more. Yes, grape juice again. We can make three barrels of grape juice. Gold standard grape juice at that. Oops. There we go. Excellent. Ooh. Uh, and now... Yeah, let, oops. let's build some silver grape juice. Build a couple of silvers. And yeah, we might as well finish off with a bronze. Superb. Right. Let's pop all that in the chest for now, because we can use it out of, in and out of the chest. Okay, so, 20 wines. Is that right? 20 wines. Good lord. And a gold standard, yeah. We, we sh we'll try and make 20 gold standard wines. Although, having said that, we only need silver standard wines. Yeah, I suppose if we do that, that'll get me a 100% guarantee of getting silver standard wines. Let me just double check I did need silver standard wines. Ten silver standard wines. Excellent. So yes, if we pop that up to silver standard, pop that up to gold standard, we guarantee ourselves what I believe is going to be 20 golden doodars. Uh, red ape. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, I think we're suitably over the odds that I should probably put it away, put it away, put it away now. I can't tell if I'm a kingpin or a pauper. So that is what we're going to do. We'll put it away and uh, leave it until next time. Hopefully... Having two pumpkins upon my person will remind me to go and uh, deal with the pumpkin woman who can possibly enchant a pumpkin and receive a pumpkin. I, I don't know why she precisely wants a pumpkin now. I cannot remember, but with luck, we shall see eventually uh, f the results of our pumpkin fondling. And that's all we can really hope for in life, isn't it? To see the results of our pumpkin fondling. Uh, do, 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 do. do, 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 do. Oh, it has started. It has started. Or at least one of them. I suppose it's, it's one on the front page. But Elden Ring. The Elden Ring has started. I have an old ring. It's 33 years old, in fact. Um, No, that you terrible man. Yes, yes indeed. Ah, do 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 We'll see. Ba 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 da ba da ba. A friend streaming that later. That doesn't surprise me. Everybody's going to be streaming that, I suspect. It's all about the Elden Ring, the Elden Ring, the Elden Ring. It's all about the Elden Ring, the Elden, Elden Ring. 
Uh, I must admit, nothing's leaping out, so I don't think I'll bother with a raid tonight. It's not. It's just not worth it. Um, but if you are after entertainment for tomorrow night, you have Mr. Nicodeen, who I believe is doing a new video game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not dropped frames. Well, I mean, if you don't know what, what it is yet, I you don't know what it is yet. It's fine. You can make a decision point. tomorrow. It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not even sure what I, what I was trying to come. That or you just a stroke. <laughs> What was what was I trying to say? <laughs> uh, no. As an alternative for tomorrow, you of course also at I believe ten o'clock. It's difficult to know for certain. He may change his mind. He may change it to nine. He may make it later. He may make it earlier. He may not do it at all. But nonetheless, if you look out for it, you may find yourself with a blue bouche. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the van, Master. <laughs> Look at my fancy shoes, Master. Welcome to the van. <laughs> You too could be welcome to yes. the van. We've got highlighters in the van, Master. Let me nosh. Nosh, 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 nosh. Exactly. Once, a week, yeah. Once a week, we we tend to kill Blue Bush. Um, God damn it! Stop tossing shoes around, ghosts. As ghosts, your one duty is to never stop tossing shoes. Uh, anyway, that's your options for tomorrow. I will probably back. Probably back, yes. Probably back B. I will back B, Sata. Uh, I'll probably be back for Sata J RPG this week. Shouldn't be anything else on as far as I'm aware, so we can do some more World of Final Fantasy, which I'm sure will be very exciting for people. Um, but yeah, that's it. that's it. So I will say cheerio and then put it away. So, cheerio. Ah, cheerio, cock hype. Yes. Hyping the cock. Hyping the cock. If you've got hyping on your cock, then you are going to struggle to play games. Because a high ping makes things very difficult. That's a networking joke. But yes, cheerio, cock hype. Cheerio. Uh.